Chapter 10 Geometry Line Segment Let us recall what you have learned about line segments, lines and rays. A line segment is a straight line having a beginning and an end. The line segment shown is called line segment AB or segment AB or line AB. Measuring line segments using a ruler. To measure the length of the line segment AB using a ruler, follow the steps. 1. Place the ruler along the line segment AB. 2. Adjust the ruler such that its zero mark coincides with one end A of the line segment. 3. Read the mark on the ruler at the other end B of the line segment. 5.5 cm in the above figure. 4. This gives the length of the line segment. Line AB or segment AB is equal to 5.5 cm in the above figure. Line A line segment extending on both sides endlessly is called a line. Draw a line segment XY and extend line XY on both sides. Put two arrow marks on either end. This represents a line XY. Ray A ray is a part of a line which extends endlessly in one direction only. To represent a ray, draw a line segment AB and extend it in one direction only. Put an arrow mark on that end. This represents a ray AB. Angles Look at the figures. Figure 1, Figure 2, Figure 3, Figure 4. Each of the figures contain two rays. They have O and A as endpoints. In Figure 3 and 4, the rays meet at the end points. What happens when two rays meet at a point? Whenever two rays meet at a point, an angle is formed. The point where two rays meet is called the vertex and the rays form the arms of the angles. This angle has vertex O and arms OB and OA. Naming an angle an angle has one vertex and two arms. Let us now name an angle. This angle is called angle ABC. It can also be named angle CBA. This symbol represents the word angle. Remember, while naming an angle, the vertex is always in the center. For example, in angle ABC, B is the vertex. BA and BC are the two arms. We can also name an angle in a different manner. Here, angle ABC can be represented as angle 1. Angle XYZ can be represented as angle A. Interior and exterior of an angle. The arms BA and BC of angle ABC go on indefinitely. The shaded portion between these arms can also be extended indefinitely. The shaded portion is called the interior of angle ABC. The point O is not in the shaded portion. It lies outside angle ABC. We say that it lies in the exterior of angle ABC. The point Y lies on the angle. Comparison of angles The size of an angle is measured by how much the arms are opened out and not by how long the arms appear to be. Measuring angles The standard unit for measuring angles is the degree. This is the symbol for degree. 
To measure an angle in degrees, we use a protractor. You will find it in your geometry box. Types of angles A right angle measures 90 degree. In a right angle, if one of the arm is horizontal, the other will be vertical. The hands of a clock make an angle of 90 degree at 3 o'clock. An acute angle measures between 0 degree and 90 degree. It is less than a right angle. See the hands of a clock at 2 o'clock. They make an acute angle. An obtuse angle measures between 90 degree and 180 degree. It is greater than a right angle. The hands of the clock make an obtuse angle at 5 o'clock. An angle measuring 0 degree is called a zero angle. The hands of a clock make a zero angle at 12 o'clock. Closed figures Here we see some figures close from all sides. They are called closed figures. The figures shown here are closed by line segments. They have three or more line segments. Have a look at these figures. Triangle, Rectangle, Square, Parallelogram, Hexagon, Triangles. This is a triangle ABC. It is a closed figure having three line segments and three vertices. It also has three angles. The line segments are AB, BC and CA. The vertices are A, B and C. The angles are A, B and C. The triangle ABC is written as triangle ABC. This symbol stands for a triangle. Name the segments vertices and angles of the triangles given. Figure 1 You can name it as ABC. Figure 2 You can name it as DEF. Figure 3 You can name it as PQR. Figure 4 You can name it as X, Y, Z Types of Triangles A triangle with one right angle is called a right angle triangle. In triangle ABC, angle ABC is a right angle. The right angle is often marked as shown. A triangle with one obtuse angle is called an obtuse angle triangle. Angle XYZ is an obtuse angle. A triangle with all three angles acute is called an acute angle triangle. In triangle EFG, angle FGE, angle FEG are all less than 90 degree. In triangle with its three sides, Equal is called an equilateral triangle. In triangle MON, line MN is equal to line NO is equal to line MO. It also has three equal angles. Angle MNO is equal to angle MON is equal to angle NMO. A triangle with two equal sides is called an isosceles triangle. It also has two equal angles. In triangle CDE, line CD is equal to line CE. Also, angle CDE is equal to angle CED. A triangle having all sides of different lengths is a Scalene triangle. This is a scalene triangle. Measure the sides and verify yourself. Quadrilaterals. Look at this figure. It is formed by four line segments. 
it is called a quadrilateral the four line segments are the four sides of the quadrilateral a quadrilateral has four sides four vertices and four angles rectangle a quadrilateral in which all angles measure 90 degree is called a rectangle h i j k is a rectangle thus in a rectangle the opposite sides are equal and all angles are right angles square a rectangle in which all sides are equal is a square thus in a square all sides are equal and all angles are right angles e f g h is a square